Even some of the more extreme practices of Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church, or so-called extreme practices, are done at least somewhere in the world. I don't know how much validity there is to it, but Phelps was accused of child abuse and domestic abuse of his wife, Marge. His son, Nate Phelps, contends it is true. So does the book, Addicted to Hate. For the sake of argument, let's assume it's true. Guess what? Many cultures don't have the prohibition against hitting your children. From what I understand, for example, in African American homes, it's okay to get the belt out and whip them. We're not talking about a little tap on the bottom. We're talking about whipping. We're talking about hitting. In many cultures around the world, there's no prohibition against hitting your wife. I am certainly not saying I condone these practices. I personally don't believe even spanking is acceptable. My point is merely, it seems so strange, it seems so unusual, but guess what? There's other people in different places that are practicing it. Even the funeral picketing, which seems to be the most unusual thing they do, has elements in other cultures. A lot of Buddhist and Eastern thinkers tell us we need to get over our attachments to the dead. Westboro Baptist sign, don't worship the dead, and their funeral picketing activities seems to further this point. They are telling us we are putting too much pomp and circumstance into the passing of the afterlife. Instead, what we need to do, they say, is focus on living right. A lot of Buddhist works talk about how we shouldn't be afraid of death. We shouldn't cry. We shouldn't mourn because it's just changing of clothes, some even say. That's what Phelps is saying. That's what Westboro Baptist Church is saying. You shouldn't mourn the dead. You shouldn't cry. His sign, God hates your tears, seems to apply perfectly well. In this sense, it would seem that Fred Phelps is enlightened. He doesn't have the same attachment to death that you do. You see the parting of death as a terrible thing. Even many Christians will say, when a Christian dies, it's not a sad thing because they're going to heaven. Whereas an atheist would see it as a sad thing because you're never going to see the person again. Dan Millman, an Eastern thinker who seems to be influenced by Buddhism, even talks about laughing at death. He talks about death should be viewed as something humorous. In the book, The Way of the Peace for a Warrior, in the end, the character dies and he's talking about how funny death is. And that goes along with Phelps' signs, soldiers die, God laughs. And his sign, gays die, God laughs. God is enlightened, so God finds death funny. Fred Phelps is more enlightened than you, so he finds it funny. Dan Millman seems to be agreeing with Fred Phelps that death is something to laugh at. Is Fred Phelps so unusual, so strange? If you limit yourself to your own perspective, yes. But if you look to a broad perspective of many different cultures, you will find a place for him in many cultures around the world.